great sports nicknames add flavor to the game. And if we're being honest, it's easier to say Greek Freak than Antetokounmpo, right? Some players become so synonymous with their nicknames, you actually forget their real names. This is how NBA players got their nicknames. And who better to start off with than the answer himself, Allen Iverson. When AI first came to the NBA, one of his friends said that when Jordan retired, the league would be in trouble from a marketing standpoint, and that he, well, he was the answer to their prayers. And shortly thereafter, Iverson and his friend went to a tattoo shop and got the answer on his arm. Like Iverson, Robert Williams also has a big big arm tattoo which says loyalty. However, that that's not his nickname. Robert Williams is better known as the Time Lord. I mean, sounds pretty cool, right? Well, funny enough, Williams got his nickname by constantly being late oversleeping at an introductory press conference when he got drafted, and subsequently missing a flight to Boston, as well as the team's first practice. <laughs> the dude operated on his own time. And this next nickname also belongs to a former Celtic. And this one spread like wildfire, because once it was said, it took only 24 hours to become a household name. After Paul Pierce dropped 42 on the Lakers in 2001, Shaq, he said this, my name is Shaquille O'Neal, and Paul Pierce is the mother truth. As soon as Shaq said this, all his friends and fans started calling Paul Pierce the truth. And let's be honest, he is still the truth today. However, Pierce wasn't the only superstar whom Shaq blessed with a nickname. When O'Neal got traded to Miami, it did not take long for him to give Dwayne Wade his new nickname. Due to his unreal speed and quickness, Shaq started calling Wade the Flash. And Shaq, well, he was also pretty famous for calling Chris Anderson Birdman Birdman. Birdman Birdman. <laughs> but, you know, it wasn't really Shaq who gave Birdman this nickname. It actually came from his teammates, who started calling him that because of his absolutely crazy wingspan and unreal blocking prowess. Of course, Anderson would also later pay homage to his nickname with a tattoo that said Freebird. And even Shaq's colleagues on Inside the NBA are no strangers to giving out nicknames. You see, in the early 2000s, when the Matrix movies came out, Kenny Smith compared Sean Marion to Neo due to his speed and reflexes. And pretty soon, everybody started calling Marion the Matrix. As for some other players, they got their nicknames from their jersey number like CP3 or PG-13. But the best nickname involving a jersey number belonged to the greatest Russian player ever, Andrei Kirilenko. The initials AK and the number 47 on the jersey made it pretty easy to get his nickname. But to make things even crazier, Kirilenko was born in Izhevsk, like the literal town where the AK-47 rifle was manufactured. And while it's generally uncool to give yourself a nickname, you get a pass if you're Kobe Bryant. You see, when explaining how he attacks the basket, Kobe compared himself to a black mamba, one of the quickest and most venomous snakes in the world. I am that killer snake. You know, I'm stone cold, man. And while Kobe was one of the most legendarily good NBA players, the most legendarily bad NBA player became one of the most famous, partly because he made a joke with Kobe's nickname. Brian Scalabrini often joked about his lack of athleticism, and during one presser, he called himself the White Mamba as a counterpart to Kobe's nickname. You see, the idea behind the White Mamba came to Brian when he was wearing white Kobe shoes and said that the shoes were called White Mamba Ones. Another non-superstar who everyone knows about is Nick Young. And just like Scalabrini and Kobe, Young gave himself the nickname Swaggy P. One version of the story is that God came to Nick in a dream and told him the nickname himself. The other, the more believable version that is, is that his friends started calling him Swaggy due to his fashion sense. And he just added the P. When asked, what the P means, Nick really wouldn't tell, but based on his exploits that were revealed to us by D'Angelo Russell, we have a, a pretty good idea of what that all means. Ah, and speaking of eggplants, if we said the nickname Chocolate Thunder or Double D, would you think of some adult film star or a basketball player? Well, if you guessed the latter, you would be correct because it belonged to Daryl Dawkins, the first NBA player who came to the league directly from high school. Dawkins was one of the funniest characters in NBA history. History. And he gave himself a plethora of nicknames over the years, including Dr. Duncanstein, Master of Disaster, and Sir Slam. But his most famous nickname, the Chocolate Thunder, well, it was actually given to Daryl by none other than Steve. 
Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder used to come to the ball games and they would have a guy sitting with him. And the guy would be telling him what's going on in the game. And he would say, hey, the big chocolate guy just put down a thunder dunk. The chocolate guy with another monster dunk. And that's why Stevie Wonder started calling me Chocolate Thunder. Which is pretty funny that you get your basketball nickname from a guy who never could see you play. And speaking of chocolate, we can't forget Jason Williams, who threw some of the nastiest dimes ever seen on NBA floors. Because of his super attractive style of play, he earned the cult nickname White Chocolate. Williams was of course white, but he played like he was one of the Harlem Globetrotters, so he got the nickname White Chocolate, given to him by a Sacramento Kings PR employee. And gotta be one of the best passers in NBA history is called the Chosen One or the King. The name King James was widespread by Nike when they signed LeBron in 2003. But LeBron himself was the king long before that, after he won his first high school championship in 1999. The fans in Akron, well, they started calling him King, and it stuck. One of LeBron's best friends and main rivals in the NBA is Kevin Durant, aka KD, aka the Slim Reaper. But Durant, yeah, he really never liked that last nickname. When asked about the origins of it, KD simply said, Cause I'm skinny and I do my work at night. However, these days, most people are using Easy Money Sniper as his nickname, as per his Instagram handle. And KD recently said that his mom used to have a crush on this guy named Hakeem Olajuwon, a man who they called The Dream. He was nicknamed The Dream in college after he dunked so effortlessly that his coach said it looked like a dream. And seven years later, after Hakeem became the number one pick in the NBA, there was another first overall pick who had one, one of the funniest nicknames ever. Larry Johnson was the first pick of the 1991 draft the rookie of the year, and a two-time All-Star. Johnson was not shy to get in front of the cameras, and he's mostly remembered for his role in the original Space Jam. However, his nickname didn't come because of some Bugs Bunny reference, and in fact, stems from Larry's role in somewhat bizarre Converse commercials, where he was dressed as Mrs. Doubtfire, or Medea, if you like Tyler Perry. Larry embraced the nickname Grandma Ma that he played in the commercials, and that's how most people called him for the rest of his career. But probably one of the weirdest origin stories of someone's nickname belongs to Richard Rip Hamilton, who got his nickname from his father after he was constantly ripping his diapers as a baby. Oof, yikes, that must have smelled bad. However, it is one thing to get a cool sounding nickname, but then there are those guys that really become their nickname. I mean, their nickname literally becomes them, and nobody calls them by their real name anymore. Now, granted, there aren't many people who can say that, but for Irvin Johnson, aka Magic, I mean, it, it suited him like a hand to a glove. Johnson was first called Magic when he was a star at Everett High School in Michigan. He was given the nickname by a sports writer who had just seen the 15-year-old dominate the game with 36 points, 16 rebounds, and 16 assists with crazy no-look and behind-the-back passes. But when Magic first came to the NBA, there was one superstar more famous than all of the others. His name? was Julius Irving, but everyone called him Dr. J or just the doctor. And like Magic, Julius got his nickname in high school as well. One of Irving's teammates was called the professor, so he found it fitting that Irving gets called the doctor because of his surgeon-like precision. But when it comes to multiple nicknames, there's no player in the NBA that comes close to Shaquille O'Neal, who invented most of his alter egos by himself. The Diesel, the Big Aristotle, Shaqtis, Shaq Fu, the Big Shamrock, and of course, Superman, which he was very reluctant to share with Dwight Howard, but that, that's a story for another video. Shaq's dear, dear friend Charles Barkley also had multiple nicknames, but there are three that really, really stand out. The Round Mound of Rebound. That one is pretty self-explanatory. He got that nickname in college because he weighed over 300 pounds while being the best rebounder in the NCAA. When he got to the NBA, his jaw-dropping skills inspired one writer to call him Sir Charles, even though Barkley was never really knighted. And I mean, Barkley liked that nickname, but he hated to be called Charlie. And when he played for Phoenix, his coach, Paul Westfall, randomly started to call him Chuck. And soon, well, it stuck. And now pretty much everybody calls him Chuck or the Chuckster. Barkley's teammate on the Dream Team, Mr. Larry Bird, was named Larry Legend even before his legendary career was over, given to him by reporter Peter Vesey. And Bird's other famous nickname, Larry, well, he actually gave it to himself. When the media asked him why he doesn't love the attention like his arch rival, Magic Johnson, Larry simply said, I am just a hick from French Lick, Indiana. And this name, that stayed with him forever. Of course, you all know we can't talk about Bird and Magic without mentioning Michael Jordan, who also had a few nicknames himself. We have to start out 
out with the name on all his sneakers, Air. And if you watch the Ben Affleck movie called Air, then you know that the nickname came from his agent, David Falk. Nike's just developed these new running shoes that have Air technology that is supposed to cushion your feet. And it's a double entendre in the way Michael Jordan plays basketball, in the air. People later started calling Jordan his airness, but one of the nicknames that he gave himself was Black Jesus. I have 10 and he has four points, right? I'm doing all this talking, he's like, okay. End of the game in the second half, he ended up with 44. <laughs> and I ended up with 12. And as he's walking off, he's like, be sure and be careful, you never talk to Black Jesus like that. <laughs> But you see, Jordan wasn't the first NBA player to be called Black Jesus. The original, the OG nickname, belonged to Earl the Pearl Monroe, who got nicknamed Jesus, which was, was absolutely beautifully explained, and he got game. You know what they call him? What? Jesus. That's what they call him, Jesus, because he was the truth. After the movie came out, Ray Allen often got called by his character in the movie. And when the NBA experimented with nicknames on jerseys, Allen's jersey actually said Jesus Shuttlesworth. But while the nicknames became more common in the modern era, some old school ballers had some pretty unique names as well. Wilt Chamberlain, well, he was called the Big Dipper because he regularly had to actually dip his head down to avoid banging his head on the doorframe. Jerry West was the first who was nicknamed Mr. Clutch due to his clutch gene, especially after the half-court buzzer beater in the NBA Finals. But after the NBA put his silhouette on its logo, West is commonly referred to now as the logo, which I think is way cooler. However, while some players get called by their nicknames by commentators or are even mentioned by their nicknames in third person, they, they really don't get called that by their friends or their teammates. You see, when somebody needed Jerry West for something, they didn't say, hey, Mr. Clutch, come over here. Or when somebody's talking to Joel Embiid, they won't call him the process. But then there are those nicknames that become so embodied with a person that you use that moniker so much that you actually forget their real name. Penny Hardaway's real name was Anne Fernie, but not even his mother calls him Anne Fernie. Penny got the nickname from his grandma. When he was born, she referred to him as Pretty Baby. However, because of her Southern accent, Pretty started to sound like Penny. Another player who's always referred to by his nickname is Big Baby Davis. His real name is Glenn, but again, nobody called him that for decades. Davis was always very, very emotional and was always complaining. And when he was just nine years old, his coach told him, stop crying, you big baby. Now, funny enough, Davis's coach with the Celtics was also named Glenn. But just like Davis, nobody calls Doc Rivers by his real name. And all he had to do to earn that nickname was come to his first college basketball practice in a Dr. J t-shirt. And because he was so athletic, soon everybody just started calling him Doc. And the name, it just stuck. And for a guy who is synonymous with both those Glens is Kevin Garnett. First, because he literally made big baby Davis cry during a game. And because he solidified Rivers' coaching career, proving that anything's possible! KG was known by the nickname The Kid when he first came to Minnesota because, again, he came directly from high school. But soon he started absolutely dominating, after which the Timberwolves commentator dubbed him The Big Ticket. And it was pretty fitting because he was literally the sole reason why the Timberwolves fans paid tickets to see the games. And a quick glance at some current players, there are really a lot of fantastic nicknames in the NBA right now, like Grand Theft Alvarado, Tsunami Poppy, or Hillbilly Kobe, the college nickname of Austin Reeves. And if you wish to find out more amazing stories from the NBA, please subscribe to our channel and we will make your wish come true.